Hello friends, welcome to this lesson. Today we will be discussing Viceroy Lord Kensford. Lord Kensford was Viceroy of India from 1916 to 1921. Known as Montego Kensford Reforms was passed during Lord Kensford. Right? Secondly, we will discuss Home Rule Movement. Actually, Home Rule Movement started in Ireland. In Ireland, Home Rule Movement was very much successful. And as a result, Annie Besant, being Irish lady, introduced Home Rule Movement in India in 1960. Do not confuse with Tilak. Tilak also introduced uh, Home Rule in India. Right? So anyway, Ani Besant and Tilak both related to Home Rule Movement, right? This is the point you should remember. Now we'll talk about this point, Jallianabad Massacre. You see, uh, what is the background of this massacre? Actually, there was one act called Roll Act Act, Roll Act Act. Royal Act was passed in 1919 by British government. Under this act, under this Royal Act Act, anybody who is against British or simply you can say in their language, British language, those Indians who are against the national or nationality or you can say India, then without bail, they can be put behind the bars for two years, right? This is the thing you have to remember for this uh, Roll Act Act. It is actually named after Sydney Roll Act, Sydney Roll Act. So anyway, under this act, Sevindil Kichlu and Satyapal were arrested. And people demanded their release. Actually, more particularly, on 13th April, 1919, in Punjab, a place called Jallianabad, Jallianabad, people congregated and demanded for the release of these two persons, Satyapal and Saipitun Kichi. However, all of a sudden, British General uh, Dyer, General Dyer, opened order for opening fire, opened fire, and as a result, thousands of innocent people died. And this happened on this particular day, Boisaki day, Punjabi New Year, on 13th April 1990, right? And to, uh, one commission was set up called Hunter Commission. Hunter Commission was set up to inquiry regarding Janiyal massacre. However, this commission uh, favored British, right? This is the thing you should remember. During Lord Kent's war, Lucknow Pact and Lucknow Session was passed in 1916. You see, uh, in uh, Lucknow Session of Indian National Congress, A.C. Majumdar, Ambika Charan Majumdar was president. Actually, there is one uh, background. Actually, in 1907, inside the Congress, there was a division called extremists and moderates, right? And these extremists and moderates reunited in this session, Lucknow session of Indian National Congress in 1916. This is the point you should remember. And Lucknow Pact was signed in 1916 during the tenure of Lord Kemsford. Now we talk about Women University. Women University at Pune was set up, right? And uh, you can see here one point, Tilak's death, 1st August 1920, and this one, non-cooperation movement, right? Actually, Tilak died on this particular day, and the non-cooperation movement was started by Gandhiji on 1st August 1920. This is a very important, uh, a very important point you should remember. Now we talk about Sabarmati Asra. You see, Gandhi came from South Africa, South Africa, in 1950 and established 
साबरमती आश्रम इन गुजरात ओके लेट्सी हियर चंपारण सत्याग्रह खेड़ा सत्याग्रह अहमदाबाद मिल स्ट्रेट ऑल दीज इंपोर्टेंट इवेंट्स हैपन ड्यूरिंग लॉर्ड कैश नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट खिलाफत मूवमेंट एक्चुअली खिलाफत मूवमेंट अ नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड दिस इज द बिगनिंग ऑफ नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट दैट मींस यू कैन से दिस खिलाफत मूवमेंट actually sadler commission was uh, uh, was to bring reforms in education education in order to bring changes reforms in education system of india sadler commission was appointed in 1970 right i hope you got this point if you have any problem you can connect wish you happy learning thank you very much